Welcome to my 11th video on reinforced concrete design using Eurocode 2. We will continue with the analysis of section. Textbook use. Analysis of section 3. This is the chart that we used in the end of the previous video. I've mentioned the term balance section in the previous video. Let's expand it further. This is the equation for x at balance section. What is balance? It means both the concrete and the steel reach their ultimate state at the same time. In other words, we are using up the full capacity of the concrete and steel. Let us expand on this. The depth of stress block S is 80% of X. Substitute, substitute in, we get this. And then we get this. S equals to 0.36D. The next step is to plug it in the formula of FCC. This is also the page from the previous video. I'm putting this here for reference. This is the equation for concrete force. Using S equals to 0.36D for balance section, FCC balance is now 0.204 FCKBD. If you can remember the steel force, Equating the two forces, we will get the cross-sectional area for steel for a balanced section. Rearranging that, we we'll get this. What is this? We call this the maximum percentage of steel in a singly reinforced concrete. Why do we say that? AS balance is the area of steel. B times D is the total beam cross-sectional area. Multiply the thing by 100, we get a percentage. What it means is, as both steel and concrete being utilized to the limit, ultimate limit state, adding more steel will not make the section stronger. This explains the term maximum. In other words, concrete has become the limiting factor. And why do I put the inverted comma in the word percentage? Because of this. D is only up to the tension reinforcement. So B times D is not exactly the concrete section area. Now let's look at the moment. It is a force times the level arm. As level AS, as level arm means, that means D minus half of S balance. Putting together, we get this. This is the maximum moment of resistance for single reinforced sections. Simply means if you want a higher moment of resistance, you got to add in the steel in the compression compression zone. Re rearranging the equation, we get the equation for K. This time K at balance section has a definite value. This explains the maximum value of K in this chart. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.